morning routine has become the foundation of any health and wellness routine. Then comes summer vacation season. After months of no sunlight, that structured routine tends to take the backseat a little bit while we just make sure to get in every ounce of vitamin D we possibly can that we missed out for another eight months. I just return back from vacation and come along with me for my five to nine before my nine to five to be that girl. Or as I'm starting to reframe it as that woman. Following winter, I try to be a bit more structured with my wake up time and wake up at the exact same time every single day. Summer, I leave room for impromptu nights out and I kind of reverse engineer, less focus on what time I get up and more what time do I need to sleep into to get seven hours of sleep. Also, this allows the chance that the sun could actually wake me up instead of the alarm clock, which is just bliss. We make our bed. Well, I would make my bed, but my boyfriend is staying over and that is his responsibility because he slept in longer than me. How much do we want to bet he actually made the bed or as soon as I get up, I'm going to be the one walking into the room to make the bed. Anyone really? First, skincare. Skincare hack number one, using an ice cube to depuff. Now, this is not a miracle cure. It's not actually probably that great for you. Simply, it wakes me up. I spent the whole week drinking and maybe it's placebo effect, but it makes me feel like I get rid of that post-bender weekend Warning, be careful not to burn your face and definitely be careful under your eyes. Then I add a little hot water before doing any skincare because the ice will close up your pores a bit and you want them open to get the skincare benefits. Speaking of which, skincare hack number two, leave your skin a little damp. This has been the best game changer for getting my skin more moisturized for absolutely free. You want a little bit of water on your skin. That way the moisturizer has something to trap in there and keep it hydrated. Toner, vitamin C, hydration serum, and moisturizer. And because I'm a dry, dry girl, I put on an oil in the morning as well. That is not for everybody. On to my body skincare. Skincare act number three, a body retinol. I've been starting to treat my body skin like my face, so that includes using a retinol to improve the texture, redness, and prevent wrinkles forming. But warning, if you're putting that on at night, that means you definitely need a sunscreen in the day. I'm currently loving the Necessaire, but I ran out of it because it's a mineral sunscreen and that's just my personal preference. I have a bit more of a complicated body skincare routine at night, but in the morning, it's just a moisturizer and sunscreen. I wake up parched. So I just do a little help myself moment and fill my water bottle up the night before. So first thing when I wake up is a cold, crisp water bottle for me to chug. And yes, I chug the whole thing uh, simply because I am that thirsty. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Coffee. So I sit and enjoy my coffee and yes on my phone. And I know, I know we're not supposed to go on our phones, but I'm kind of framing that lately and maybe this is a toxic trait of me but I'm kind of romanticizing it and pretending it's my morning newspaper and there's something so romantic about sitting with your coffee reading the morning newspaper I just try to stay away from super high dopamine apps I don't see anything wrong with checking in on my best friends who texted me the weather and maybe some harmless articles Come fall and winter, I have a bit more of a concrete to-do list with all these reminders, and it does keep me really accountable. But come summer, I just simplify it. I have three work priorities for the day, two health priorities, and one other slash social. Nothing fancy. Today, for health, I'm doing a morning run in the sun. I got a resistance slash mobility training. For work, I got to film my morning routine. Inception moment. You're watching me plan to record my morning routine as I film my morning routine. Record my summer nostalgia stream and edit a video for Element. And tonight is Meg's last night in Vancouver, so we are going to kiss her. I'm, currently I'm doing three runs a week, one short, one interval, one long. And one of my favorite parts of summer is no sun guilt. If I sleep in a little and miss some sunlight, it's okay. There's a few hours to spare. And that's why I'm not so concrete about getting up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. even, because it's okay. First is come the winter time. If I miss 10 minutes of our precious sun, I have immense sun guilt. Is that a thing? Did I just make up a term that psychologists roll their eyes to? How fast do I look? <laughs> <laughs> no. No brakes, all gas. 
I'm so embarrassed to actually go run wearing this with a camera. Something I've been doing on my runs and walks this summer, which is a big game changer, is my summer thoughts list. In the summer, I find there's a lot of time away from screens and distractions. This is when we get all our great thoughts, whether it's creative ideas or just discover it ourselves. I'm low-key so embarrassed to go in public going like it's like I don't think I'm fast <laughs> enough. Everyone on Pinterest looks so cool. And I look like a robot. Kind of vibey? I don't know. I'm regretting a lot of my decisions right now. I went way to the deep end. <laughs> I have a note in my phone that I just dump all things into throughout the day. There's no pressure on spelling or have it even make any sense. Then at the end of the day, I sit through it and journal the most important things. And I find that's a really great way to just like allow a little self exploration while we're in a less structured routine that naturally has the serendipity moments of discovery. Now I wanna talk about the concept of that girl versus that woman. Something over the last year has felt really weird about saying that girl. Like I feel I'm too old to say that girl. I'm not gonna judge it, cause who's that girl? Is it for 14 year olds? Is it for 21? Is it for 35? I don't know. But for me, I've been refraining to things as that woman because I can't think of anything else trendier to say. But the biggest difference for me between that girl versus that woman is in the act of comparison. That woman is about prioritizing the things that will add to your life versus the ego boosting things. The things you do because it looks like you're being healthy or productive versus things that actually add to your life. One example, I found I could barely have art in my apartment in my early 20s because it ruined that that girl aesthetic. Reality is, yes, I do love a minimal aesthetic, but I'm quirky. I like some pop art moments. And sometimes art is raw and not matching. And being in an apartment full of things like that brings me joy. And I think that's an example of, yes, is it a little bit more cluttered, but that's okay. It adds to my quality of life and it makes my home a sanctuary. After my run lately is when I've been having my electrolytes and I had a vision. I, I want to test something. Let's give this bad boy a go. Electrolyte slurpee. Yup. Try some. How good is that? Mm -hmm. That's fun, but fun fact about electrolytes. I brought a whole bunch to the Calgary Stampede this weekend when I went with my best friends, and I gave them all element packets to drink every morning. And these are the exact text messages. They all woke up feeling not hungover, and they're not spring chickens anymore. We're not 21. You all know I'm obsessed with electrolytes, and a big reason is I'd wake up, in, especially in the summertime, if I was really active, with these cramps in my calves, and they were so painful, and I realized I wasn't having enough salt. And as soon as I started including electrolytes into my diet, game changer. Why I love Element specifically and I'm so hyped about it is this scientific formula. It's got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and the 60 milligrams of magnesium. Unlike other electrolyte mixes, it doesn't have any BS. There's no added dyes or sugars or anything. You're just getting electrolytes with a delicious flavor. And it's great for anyone, just your regular gym goer, your person who works outside in the hot heat, and even professional athletes in the NFL, NBA. And even though it's great for athletes, it's also great for the everyday person because electrolytes facilitate hundreds of functions in the body, including the connection of nerve impulses, hormonal regulation, nutrient absorption, and fluid balance. And I'm not just gonna hype my obsession with Element and not give you guys a discount code. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Kelty. This deal is only available through my link. You must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Kelty. Your summer workouts and hangovers? Well, thank you. Salt, lime, slush. It's practically a margarita. 7 a.m. margarita, baby. <laughs> So normally after a run, I don't have breakfast because I'm going straight to workout and I it would come all right up. But I do like to have a little snack. <sighs> the joys of coming home from vacation. I could have half an onion, some Alfredo sauce, kokanee or pistachios. A well-balanced, wholesome snack. So, uh, so I'm going to have a protein bar and a handful of pistachios. <laughs> I mean, not mad about it, it's just not very that woman, that girl. I would try, but once again, it's summer. 
It's a vibe. You just have to pretend it's a vibe. Today's workout is mobility, pure confession. At first I thought I was gonna do a Pilates class for this video because it screams that girl. Like the aesthetic would be unmatched. It would look so pretty for you guys. But confession, even though I love Pilates, the reality is I only do Pilates one, maybe twice a week. And on Tuesdays, I prefer to do a weight slash mobility workout because it better complements my running schedule. And no, it's not as chic as an aesthetic Pilates class but resistance training improves running and chances of injury. Speaking of that, I'm also not that rigid about my weekly workouts come summer. I just try and get a few resistance trainings, maybe one to three. It may be weights, it may be Pilates, and a few runs as that's my current training goals. For a lot of people starting out, maybe two resistance, three runs, or three runs, two resistance is all you need, or even less. But for me, three and three is kind of my goal. But in the summer, I love the flexibility of swapping a run with a bike ride, swapping Pilates with the yoga at the beach, swimming in the ocean, and let's focus on working out and more on moving my body. And I think that's my biggest reason for not ever really getting burnt out from fitness is I just go through seasons. Some seasons, I'm really go with the flow and just falling in love with movement. And then I kind of get bored and I want to be more committed and be really routine based. And I'll book a race and I'll train for it. And then after the race, I'm so sick of being in routine that I go back and just moving my body. And as long as you're just consistently moving in different forms and sometimes pushing yourself, I think you're winning. <laughs> Hop in the shower, put on some moisturizer and do my makeup. Question, would you guys like a post-workout skincare routine? I think that'd be really fun. And then this cute new outfit. Okay, this is very cheesy, but I just wanna talk about wearing pink because this is big for me. Because if you notice, I haven't worn pink for so many years because with my implants, something just reeked bimbo. And I'm not saying this is the case. I'm not saying if you're a big boob blonde wearing pink, you're a bimbo, but I just, I always felt I was disrespected and people just underestimated me. And sometimes I like that because I like, I like proving people wrong. But this era in July, I'm kind of just leaning into my creativity and I've just found it really fun to wear pink. So I'm embracing it. Is it maybe the Barbie core influences on my TikTok? Probably. Blue is still my number one, but pink, I'm just, I'm just embracing it right now. I drop off my things at the office, Hit on my other supplements, aka uh, just AG1 and fish oil pills. <laughs> I don't take that much, especially not in the summertime. So lunch slash brunch. I don't know what you want to call this meal. Normally I do try and pack my breakfast or lunch because it saves money and time. And I really don't like wasting time in the middle of the day for lunch. I do try and slow down now. I'm working on it. But if I'm, I notice if I spend over an hour at lunch, then my work gets pushed back and I start feeling stressed. So I really do try and have like efficient lunches. But come summer, I don't mind if I stay at the office to six or seven. So my boyfriend was like, I leave tomorrow. You want to go out for lunch? And normally I'm like, we don't have lunch together because I got to work. I was like, you what? Sure. Who cares if I stay at work in the office an extra hour? It would be really fun to hit the town and have lunch with my boyfriend. He's, he's eat breakfast he just goes straight to lunch so you know what normally i like breakfast food but today i'm just going with it we're having lunch for breakfast and just like that i'm back at the studio oh my god it feels so good to be back i've been gone for months usually i would get into the office at nine i got in at 10. the nice thing about summer is i feel i'm just not as strict and i realize it's a blessing usually a lot more structured like i get in at nine i leave at five and that's kind of my goal with routines in the summer because i think it's less of routines and just a bit more of like staying accountable to the things that make me enjoy my day to day and easing into like flow and creativity and spontaneity that is so beautiful around summertime. Especially Monday Friday, there's still a few things that like I like to check off the list. My skincare, morning coffee, movement outside in sunlight, either stretch, strengthen, or get a good sweat in. Electrolytes, I only do really two other supplements. And then just make a little short to-do list of work priorities, maybe just two or three. I used to feel guilty of like, oh, you should be productive year round. But I've noticed if I really ease into that creativity, less structured routine in the summertime, come fall, I'm craving routine. I'm craving structure versus I'm not craving it right now. So I'm not going to like force it. All my ideas come in this time and you almost have to allow spontaneity with creativity. And I, I realize I'm really blessed. Like I am a DJ and a YouTuber. I really lean into creativity, but that comes to even businessmen have to be super creative. Even accountings, like creativity means something different to every single person. It could be just a new way to solve a problem. When we allow ourselves to have new experiences, get out, not be as structured, 
we just allow so much of those like natural thoughts and problem solving abilities. Like too many times in my life, I've been stressed out, routine based, working hard, nothing's coming, I feel stuck, I go on vacation and I'm not working and 3000 ideas come up. And I just try and lean into that in the summertime. Summer is routine, is a season of creativity, not productivity, and ironically, that becomes productive in itself. And I just wanna pop in and say, Thank you guys. Uh, I took a two week hiatus to go on vacation. And uh, while I did, I hit half a million subscribers and I just got chills saying that. Uh, that is a lot of people. And I've always really ticked me off when people think it's just a number. It's not, that means each one of you is a human and you've chosen to take the effort to hit subscribe. And it means the goddamn world to me. If you ever see me on the street, please come and say hi. I love just putting a face to each number because then when I meet you, next video I film, I, I film it directly to you. So like everyone I met at Stampede this weekend, love you. This video, I was talking to you the entire time. Um, so please come say hi, thank you. I have the coolest job on earth. I feel so blessed, it is a job. I sit here with my fake news anchor microphone and edit videos because you guys, and it's so much fun and I hope you enjoy it and I will continue to keep making them. Maybe one day really late, I can dream, but for right now, I'm just so thankful for you guys. So. Thank you, I hope you're enjoying your summer. Just ease into the spontaneity and creativity that is summer, but you know, keep yourself a little accountable because when you're dehydrated, life sucks. And most importantly, have a great day. Go pet dogs. Love you guys, bye.